students let's begin with chapter 11 light sound and force part 2 let's move on to the next topic that is eclipses children in space an eclipse happens when one object blocks the another. The earth revolves around the sun and the moon revolves around the earth and reflects sunlight to us. So, when the earth or the moon block the sunlight, they also cast shadows. We see these shadows in the form of eclipses. So, there are two types of eclipses. One is solar eclipse and second is lunar eclipse. Now, let's see these eclipses one by one in detail. So, the first one is solar eclipse. Solar eclipses can only occur during a new moon when the moon moves between earth and the sun. A solar eclipse happens when at just the right moment the moon passes between the sun and the earth. Sometimes the moon only blocks part of the sunlight. This is called a partial solar eclipse. Other times the moon blocks all of the sunlight. This is called a total or complete eclipse that is solar eclipse. The shadow of the moon falls on the earth and sun cannot be seen. So, it can be partial or complete. So, a solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between earth and the sun. That is, Moon blocks the light of the sun and the shadow of the moon falls on the earth and the sun cannot be seen. A solar eclipse occurs in the day time at new moon when the moon is between the earth and the sun. Let's move to the next eclipse that is lunar eclipse. Students, we all know the moon does not have its own light. It shines because its surface reflects the sun rays. Lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon. As a result, the earth blocks the light of the sun from reaching the moon's surface and casts its shadow on the moon. It occurs on a full moon day. Depending on how the sun, the moon and the earth line up. Lunar eclipse too can be categorized as that is it is partially seen when only a part of the moon moves into the shadow of the earth and it 
is complete seen when the earth passes directly in front of the moon and casts its shadow on the full moon. Lunar eclipse happens about twice a year. Unlike total solar eclipses that are sometimes more than a year apart. Lunar eclipse can last for a few hours but total solar eclipses last only a few minutes. It is advised that one should not look at the sun directly during solar eclipse as it can permanently damage the eyes. However, it is safe to watch the lunar eclipse with naked eyes. So, this is end of part 2. Thank you.